Important story developing late this afternoon. New developments in the Austin Harriff murder case. Today, all sides went to court to continue their fight over the teenager's interview with Dr. Phil, recorded prior to his arrest. News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman live in Martin County to explain what happened. Alyssa. Well, Austin Harriff is known nationwide as the suspected face biting killer. Now, WPTV went to court earlier this year to fight for the release of that interview he did with Dr. Phil. Now, CBS, which produces the show, eventually released the tape. But now a second tape has come to, come to light and his legal team says it's not complete. Austin, are you ashamed of what you did? <laughs> this one on one Skype interview between TV personality Dr. Phil and accused killer Austin Harriff. I'm so sorry, and I never wanted this to happen. Conducted from Harriff's hospital bed before he was arrested and charged with the August 2016 murders of John Stevens and Michelle Mishkan and the attack of their neighbor, Jeff Fisher. I'm so sorry. Was once again the focus of another court hearing in Martin County Tuesday. In September, we learned there's actually a portion of the tape that CBS failed to release. CBS eventually turned over a second tape, but today, Harriff's lawyers argued that tape is still missing pieces of the video. The defense has a right to investigate completely, um, particularly with the way material can be produced and altered and edited uh, and, and manipulated, for lack of a better word. So uh, it is our position that we have a right to some total of everything. The judge ruled Harris attorneys should pursue the rest of the video from CBS. Then they can argue the second motion they made to seal the tape so it's not released to the public. We'll see how it plays out in court. Harris attorney Nellie King not talking after court and neither was his father. Mr. Harris, do you have any comment? Harriff, anything to say? And the family for John Stevens and Michelle Mishkan were also in court today. Obviously, all of this very emotional for them. Reporting live tonight in Martin County, Alyssa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5.